This video is part of free course about custom React hooks. In this course we learn how to create, test and publish your custom React hooks. In this specific video we will learn how to generate structure for your standalone hook project. We will use command line tool called create react hook. To create new project you can either install create react hook globally and then run it or use npx. npx create react hook and then hook name. I will call it example hook. You will be prompted with a bunch of questions about your project. Package name, description, your GitHub handle, repo path and license. Then you will be asked what sort of package manager you want to use. I will choose yarn and template for your hook project. I will use default. After your project will be generated, you will be prompted with uh, two instructions. That you need to run your hook using yarn start and you need to run some example project. This example project is in fact a simple React application that will use your hook, so you can test it locally in your browser. If you open project folder, you will see that you already have a bunch of files generated for you, and your readme file already contains example code showing how to use your hook. On the left you can see that you have a src folder that contains your hook code, along with the simple test. But you also have example folder that has React application, that uses your hook internally. So we can run both. This way you will get live updates if you change your hook and it will be instantly reflected in your example application. And we can also see how our app that is using your hook will work in browser. If we go back to our hook, you will see that this hook has counter state that it updates every second. You can't control it anyhow, it just returns counter that will be incremented every second. Inside of our app, we just display this example value that will be this counter inside of some div. Let's launch our project and see how it works. Yarn start. Here I run yarn start in the root of our project. Next I go to example folder and launch it as well. It will open the browser and you should see your counter ticking. Now let's open our hook code and try to change something. For example, let's change it to decrement our counter instead of incrementing it. If you open your browser again, you see that the changes are reflected instantly. Make sure to see other videos from this course in the attached playlist. Press like button and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.